Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Zidic Alex, and today I wanted to make an appreciation video about Venom because honestly, this is still one of my favorite reworks of the past couple of years. Venom is such a cool character, and the rework especially really makes you feel like Eddie Brock. And although he's been featured in a lot of comics recently uh, with King and Black and all that stuff that, uh, you know, uh, basically concluded, and he actually has a lot of different looks. Uh, this is the one we have from War of the Realms, and it still holds up to, to this day, although it's like uh, a year and a half old or something like that. So yeah, let's check it out. We've got the, the Dino Rockin', uh, and I also wanted to highlight this one because it's very unusual how you play him. Uh, unlike a lot of other characters, you just build up to the Tier 3, and then you just cancel it right away! You actually don't even get to see the Dino, which makes me a little bit sad on the one hand, but then on the other hand, I understand why because you're going for optimal damage. And so like Hawkeye, like Captain Falcon, uh, you have the accumulation that activates on the tier three. And so that's why you just press it and continue on. Because actually, uh, especially Venom's fifth and third skills do more damage. The third, the fifth skill, or the sixth skill actually, it just has too much of a wind up. You can see here the wind up, I'll, I'll let it play out here. It's just so long, man. The dino looks so cool, but it's just such a long wind up and it's, Unfortunately, just not worth it in this fast-paced world of Marvel Future Fight. You want to get in at as many hits as you can, and you just want to burst damage down the enemies. Now, sadly, we, we t well, that was bad and good. We tanked the spikes, which was impressive, but we weren't able to do enough damage to uh, push him. We just, we just needed a little bit more. So this is a really good run so far. It's not the highest stage in the world, I know, but this is probably where it ends for Eddie Brock. You could you could push a little bit higher if you wanted to go ahead and invest in something like um, a CTP of Energy uh, Reforged or something like that. Uh, I don't think Destruction or Reforged Destruction would be that good considering that Eddie already has a lot of Ignore Dodge, so the Strike proc doesn't do as much, and the Chain Hit Damage would do quite a bit. But um, yeah, this is with just a Rage. So the, the play style is a lot more free and a lot more, you know, comfortable. I'm just sort of rotating through and I don't have to worry or stress too much about procs. Venom is sort of in the middle of being unfriendly and friendly for procs. So I just decided to uh, save myself the headache because I like the character so much and I don't want to destroy my enjoyment of the character by having a rotation that just doesn't agree with me and just gives me fits. You know, and that's, that's, I think, an important thing that we forget about when we're chasing the meta is, like, the character has to be fun to play, right? If the character's not fun to play, it's not fun for you. And so, you know, showcase videos aside and, like, you know, max, what's his max capability? All that aside, just give him a rage and just go to town. And I honestly can't wait. I know this is a whale, this is going to sound like a whale's uh, perspective, but I can't wait for Reforged Rage because there's so many characters that I love to play with this sort of relaxed play style. And Eddie is absolutely one of them. Shang-Chi is another one of them, but Eddie's absolutely one of them. So he crushes stage 19 with more than two minutes to spare. We've got the double support. This is the best option for him, both Wave and Taskmaster. I, I honestly think with that much time to spare, he could go a little bit higher. He might not be able to go all the way to 24 because you do lose most of the good supports once you go into both the hero category and the male category. There basically aren't any supports because Nick Fury hasn't been tier 3 or transcended. Coulson hasn't been tier 3 or transcended. Ghost Panther. So all those dudes are just waiting on the other side of the, the fence to play with us. So that's where he's going to struggle a lot. And, you know, honestly, actually, I don't even know if he could do 20 because of the support loss. You can't even use Null's leadership for crying out loud because he's not a hero. But 19 is a really good uh, place for him to go. It's really the the limit in my in my opinion for Null, but that's not that's not all because he's actually not bad for Ultron, and this is a pretty low stage, stage nine. But what I want to show you specifically, and this is a great team up for him. He doesn't have the um, leadership ability, so you can't use all of White Fox's gimmicks here. But you get Sif's lead because he's a combat type, so he gets the thirty percent uh, increased physical or 30, 35 percent of physical attack and thirty percent HP. He gets the increased damage to boss types, and then Wave gives him all those side buffs. You could swap Wave over for Taskmaster. It's sort of like the same thing. But what I want to show you guys is that his fourth skill is actually really good for a sort of positional movement-based attack. And I talk about this in the few videos that we've done on Infinity Ultron, where movement attacks are actually really important because they allow you to um, hit Ultron, but then move out of the way when he's doing those, um, you know, Infinity Stone skills when he's not in optimization. So there's sort of like two versions of Ultron's optimization phases. There's the one where the screen goes purple and you're like, oh, like it's, it's going down. 
and then there's the version where um, it's not. Like, this is the version where it's not, where he's sort of just casting one skill and being done with it. I had a little bit of a targeting error there, that's okay. Um, but then there's another version where, like, he'll just stand in place and he'll do, like, for example, those, those red spears that are super annoying. And you basically just have to run around and not get hit. And when you're doing that, you're allowing him to further set up his optimization. I don't know what happened there, why my um, fifth skill didn't, didn't trigger properly, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about as far as his fourth skill being really good. So here we go. We're in this optimization. Okay, he's doing this purple attack. Okay, can't show you guys on this one. Darn. I'll show you guys. I will show you guys, okay? But basically, you use the um, the fourth skill, and Eddie jumps. He, he turns into the, the symbiote. Well, he's always a symbiote, but you know what I mean. He turns into, like, a symbiote head, and he jumps. But then if you let it play out, he goes underneath, and he pops up on the other side. And then as soon as he pops up, you can use the joystick by just dragging it, and you can uh, interrupt the ability. And so because of that, you can actually use it as a movement skill to hit Ultron. Sort of like here, right here. I can show you here. We poke, and we're going to appear on this side. Oh, and we run away. That's probably the best one I can show you now. Okay, maybe if he does the spears here, I can show you. No. Okay, but anyways, imagine these were spears. Look at that. I can bounce around behind him, dodge the spears so I don't uh, take damage and possibly die because honestly a lot of these skills even though it's not the full optimization version of ultron they do a lot of damage um and i won't die in that case and i can still do damage stop him from doing the full optimization wasting you know 30 plus seconds of my time and so although venom you know he's not going to be the fastest not going to be the fastest uh, combat type the fastest hero the fastest male uh, whatever, whatever uh, criteria you want to give him there are better players there are better characters for this but okay check this out perfect oh He's gonna, he's gonna, okay, but, uh, that's so annoying. I was, I was about to say, perfect opportunity to do that, right? But no, no, because, uh, he decides to go into this thing. Now, Eddie's a little slow, I'll say this, he's a little slow, but on the flip side, the fourth skill has those lingering effects. So you can actually almost, not quite, but almost knock hit, like, hit him twice. Not quite twice, but almost. Now, oh, we didn't get nice. We didn't have the uh, the little shield he puts up at, at eight bars. We didn't have to deal with that. But he's actually doing pretty well. And he's got that little quirky movement on the fourth skill, which is actually really helpful. Not every character has that. Um, a really good example of this type of skill that I'm talking about is Shang-Chi's first, first skill, where you press it and he does like a flying kick and he sort of flies by the enemy. And you use that as sort of like a movement-based attack skill. I say it a lot in the videos, I just say, like, oh, Hawkeye doesn't have a movement skill. That's what I'm talking about when I say movement skill. I'm talking about those kinds of skills that allow the character to deal damage while moving uh, in one direction or another. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. We can try the fifth skill, because I believe... Mm, no, not enough hits on it. Okay, I think it's just his fourth skill that has enough hits to... Um, sort of possibly trigger a second phase for or a second uh set of hits for the optimization because if you can hit enough times or if there's enough delay to hit during the first and second tick uh then you're you're, you're laughing so yeah 90 seconds left and he's still he's still chugging along here i'm gonna go purple you know what i want to see his tier three this is a really long iframe can we use this yes we can look at this Oh, what? I feel robbed. We can't use it. I'm like, for sure, this has to be a long enough iframe skill to use it. No, it's not. Are you kidding me? That's baloney, dude. But I still love the animations. I still love the animations. And once in a while, I'll let the tier three play out, even though it's, you know, not optimal damage because it just looks so sick. I really wish that the, they would uh, speed up the animation. Maybe for a future uniform for Venom, they could speed up the animation because I think it would be dope. What would be even more dope? I don't want to get too crazy here. But if his tier three was just like a bunch of those giant symbiote dinosaur heads, like why just one, dude? Why not like five or six and they take like five or six bites and it's just like does crazy number of hits. So, you know, I've shown you guys what Venom is pretty good at to like actually kind of impressively good at. What is he not good at? Well, I want to highlight this too because I don't want the the showcase to just be like you know oh he's just pumping smoke and venom's amazing but no like like i've said there's already better characters than him uh, within the, sp the combat class or even outside of the combat class but particularly this piece of content is i think gonna highlight where he's gonna struggle more i'm not gonna show you the full fight here this is just stage 25 
but I already have characters like Shang-Chi with a Rage and uh, Cull Obsidian with a uh, Energy CTP that can climb. So they can do 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. They can climb all the way up, but I'm just going to show you 25 here, although he can also do 24 because he's a human hero, um, and he's going to struggle. So this is where he's definitely going to struggle more than other uh, combat types. And that's basically uh, why you probably shouldn't build him for something like Mephisto. You should build those other characters that I mentioned. This is really where um, his his weaknesses start to uh, showcase a little bit more. Because one, he actually takes a lot of damage from Mephisto. Even though he is known as one of the best healers in the game. It's sort of like, I can do this for you, but I can't do it for myself. Sort of that, like, that tragedy of uh, being able to help others uh, and not get the help that you need because he basically doesn't heal like he doesn't heal enough and you have to basically uh stop attacking right and, and hope that mephisto's not attacking too much as well because when mephisto attacks you can't see anything and then you have to just like run around and, and try to run into those heals that he has there i got time frozen awesome but you can see he takes a ton of damage and although i have a lot of hp um it's kind of not enough you know like we're already down to my i'm like i'm already at death's door here um, and I'm gonna have to just stop now. Like we're already so behind on damage. Don't don't uh, don't let that that aspect of it fool you. But then furthermore, I have to spend more time here collecting. Whereas other characters like Shang Chi, like uh, Black Dwarf, well, Black Dwarf has an auto heal, right? Shang Chi has a 60% heal on one of his skills, and then a 100% heal on another skill. And the thing is that blast types do more damage to combat types. So Venom's actually taking, you know, more damage from Mephisto than other types would. You're probably looking at this and being like, man, he's like, he's got no defenses. He does have low defenses. He doesn't have guaranteed uh, dodge. And then he doesn't have damage reduction. And, and then on top of it all, you know, he's not a speed type or a universal. So there you go. That took about 90 seconds to get to the first phase. That was a little bit slow because I took a little bit more damage than I usually do. So that was like the worst case scenario. You can do it a little bit faster. I think I, I average about a minute and 10 seconds. So this is a, a sort of worst case scenario anti-showcase. But it really goes to show you how much a character can fall off in certain content um, just because they're not built for it. Like he's not built for it defensively. And obviously he's not built for it offensively. But what you also noticed, maybe it, it um, you know, passed you by as you were just focusing on other things that I was saying. But we went through two rage phases for Mephisto. Part of that reason is because I don't have enough damage. The other part of that reason is that Venom just has a lot of little hits, right? All of his skills, two, three, four, five, have lots of little hits. And so all of those little hits add up. The fourth skill where he leaves those blobs, if you don't pick them up, they go and they hit the enemy. So they go and they hit Mephisto and they just build that rage meter, build that rage meter. So where we highlighted someone like Infinity Ultron that was actually good for Mephisto because he has very few hits then you see characters like um venom who have lots of little hits and that actually makes him substantially worse for mephisto so yeah not the best character anymore wasn't even the best character when he came out but still one of my favorites not only does he look so cool but then his skills really make me feel like i'm venom and dinosaurs man we basically have two dinosaurs in this game and he's one of them so that's sick uh, so yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Venom. Are you still using him? Are you waiting uh, and holding your breath for the day that you can reforge your rage to see how much it boosts a character like Venom? Or are you rocking him with a proc or something else? Hit me up in the comments down below. There's the build for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.